today I am joined by my beautiful girlfriend in Bangkok, which is one of my favorite cities in the entire world. I am absolutely exhausted as today has just been a travel day for us both. But let me take you back to this morning where we arrived and let's get into it. And we are officially inside Thailand, but I need to go and find someone very special. She's here already. I don't know where she is. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> are you in Bangkok? You're in Indonesia? In the right place? to see me though. How long have you been here for? Um, what time did your flight get in? You don't even know two. what time. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I think I've been here for two hours. Two hours, okay. Because we didn't get on the same flight and why was that? Because you booked this ship before you A met year me. ago before I met you. So I should have um, waited to meet you before <laughs> I uh, booked the trip. Okay, so the first thing we do when we land in Thailand is of course what? Well, we eat as well. That is the second thing we do. But before we can find a place to eat, what do we need? SIM card. A working phone and we need a SIM card. And you can find these all over the place in Bangkok Airport. There's many to choose from. I tend to go with AIS, the green one, just because I've used it before. It's fast, it's cheap. You just pick it up here. It's great, can't go wrong. I'm going for the 899 bar option, which gives me 5G internet capabilities, but it only gives me 50 gigabytes, but I, know that 50 gigabytes is way more than enough and this is apparently the fastest network it must be true because it says it on his t-shirt <laughs> i'll get that one <laughs> thank you so i'm about to pay for my um internet i was looking through my suitcase and i completely forgot what i was looking for it's because i've not slept since tuesday it's now thursday this guy's fed up with me already you've got two weeks of this three weeks of this i don't even know how long we're here for. That was tight for this fucking guy. Get rid of him. Right, how much is it? Yeah. So it's 899 baht, very affordable, 20 English pounds, lots of internet. Can't go wrong. Is it time we get out of here? Oh my god, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you need a shower. Yeah, Do I actually? And a sleep. Can you smell it? No. You said that for a reason. <laughs> You definitely said that for a reason. Can you s smell me? Traveling for a whole day. Yeah. Have a okay. Uh, have you brushed your teeth? Twice. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> Brush your teeth twice. Yeah. Now, I just want to take a minute to thank Kent Faith for supporting this channel. Now, when it comes to camera accessories, they are my go-to as they're high quality, really reliable, and really well-priced. And I want to tell you about two products that are absolute essentials that you need to add to your camera arsenal. First up, it's the 25 litre Alpha camera backpack. Now, this bag carries so much. Two cameras, four lenses, my drone, my tripod, my 15 inch MacBook Pro, and my iPad. It's also fully customizable with the adjustable dividers and it's got an expandable top compartment which can increase the volume by up to five cans of Coke. It's also really smooth to just spin around and open up the side compartments accessing different parts of the bag. Honestly, for the price, it is definitely the best camera bag on the market. Next, it's the brass variable ND and CPL filter, which is an absolute essential for every run and gun filmmaker. If you guys are wondering how I managed to get those beautiful cinematic shots where the background's all blurry and it's really, really bright outside, well, it's because of this filter. It's got two to 32 stops, which allows me to precisely select how much light I want to allow in. And the CPL means I can avoid getting those nasty reflections. And it's also waterproof, scratch proof, and comes with a 10 year warranty for your peace of mind. Right now they're actually running a Black Friday sale, giving you 18% off their website. So use the code in my video description, use that discount, and go ahead and upgrade your camera setup with KNF. Let's get back to the video. So usually when you get into Bangkok, you want to pull up the Bolt app, which is their version of Uber. 
and normally there's many taxis available. But unfortunately, I'm getting this error message which says, taxi cars are busy now. So we're stuck at the airport and I'm not sure what to do, sweetheart. What do we do? Um, I can't really solve problems on I no hours sleep. I've never been here before. So okay. This one's on you. So you're not the person to ask? No, definitely not. Um, um, oh, let's find the person. Oh. Yeah, but that looks like we, we're sharing with others. Really cheap though, 200, 200 to 300 baht to our, to our hotel, which is at least 30 minutes drive, 40 minutes drive. And if you know the math, it's about eight quid. But the task now is to find a taxi that can take us to our hotel. Look at all these bolt options. There's the ladies option. You can get the ladies one. I'll get the um, the uh, comfort one. How about that? I'll get the XL or the comfort. You can have a ladies option. So this one is how much? 2,500 baht. Okay, what about this? Three th 2,300. <laughs> can we take off a zero and you've got a deal? <laughs> we, are, we got it? We got a job? Yes. Got oh, hold on, hold on. Yes. Okay, thank you anyway. We found one. Thank you. So it was Operation Find a Cab Driver. Now we've got to find our cab driver. He's asking me what door. Um, give him a door. Say door number four. Door number four. So if your Bolt app doesn't work and you're traveling with someone, get them to download it and maybe they will have more luck. Because maybe. I've been blacklisted and that is why I can't order them. For you guys on the Travel Channel, I don't actually think I've introduced who this is yet. So this <laughs> is Jenny, my girlfriend. That was your plan to- Mom. I'm sorry, this is what happens when I'm really tired. Like, the coast I know is really who I good. Am. Okay, <laughs> so this is Jenny, this is my girlfriend. If you're new to this channel, that's her. But if you've been following my medic channel, you'll have seen her many times before because she's made many guest appearances and she's brought a lot of um, a lot of uh, humor to that channel. And hopefully this trip, she's going to bring lots of humor to this trip. I'm just saying words. You're delirious. What are you talking about? Yeah, so something you need to know about roads in Bangkok is it's just a free for all. Hello, mate. Okay, so when you get to the airport, if you are looking for taxis, go to the fourth floor and you'll actually find loads of different cabs all along here just waiting to pick you up. I was stressing for no reason. But this is also where you're going to pick up your Bolt cab if you've ordered it. Fourth floor at the airport. And they'll very kindly load it up for you. Okay, it turns out it was actually the Grab app, not Bolt. Forget about Bolt. Maybe forget about everything I'm saying right now because I just... I could be saying anything. the Marriott Marquis where we're staying for the next two nights. Stunning looking place. What do you think? Ooh. Are we getting a, are we getting escorted? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know where we're going. First impressions of this hotel, very, very high end looking, beautiful finish. Wow, really looking forward to this. Voila. Oh my God. What? Oh my god. What? I just did that. That's how tired I am. Yeah, I know that was very <laughs> Okay. No, I'm true. Thank you in Thai. What what did you say? Kapun Kap. Kapun Kap. Um but girl 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 can say like Kapun Kap. So Kapun Ka. Kapun Ka. Yeah, and the boy did. And for a guy, Kapun Kap. Yeah, Kapun Kap. Thank you. Kapun Kap. You've learnt your first bit of Thai. Look at me. What do you think of these rooms? This I'm not sure about. Why are you, what, see, when I'm on the toilet in the morning, you can just like open it up. I don't want to ever see that. Never. Stay, stay clothes when you're on the toilet. Wow, first impressions of this hotel though. Absolutely stunning. The room is beautiful. The bed looks amazing. How is it comfortable? Oh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> this needs to get slept on. And yeah, lovely rooms, but the view outside is stunning. Really cool view of 
the park? I'm not sure what park that is, but I love the skyscrapers. So we have just woken from a very much needed two hour, three hour nap. It is now 5 p.m. and we are just exploring the hotel, aren't we? Yeah. What are we thinking? We've been to the pool. It's very nice. Yeah, the gym. We didn't use the gym. We didn't use we the, gym. the gym. I don't gym. think there's going to get No, used we're not going to do that. Next couple of days. But we went. We should go check out the rooftop. Should we go? And so we've had a quick outfit change and we've come to the A-Bar rooftop to enjoy some lovely drinks and some light snacks with an incredible view with some great company. And yeah, this, this place is a vibe. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the music's good. Uh, we've ordered some uh, bikes and I'm really looking forward. What are you getting? Can't decide on a cocktail. Ooh. There's so many. First world problems. <laughs> we can't decide on the cocktail. Oh, no. Wow, look at that. Thank you. That looks that nice. That's pretty amazing, that one. Wow. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Have we over ordered? Yeah. Have we? You ordered. <laughs> I didn't order a thing. Cheers to Cheers. our first night in Thailand, Bangkok. Mm. 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 And we've got an amazing selection of food right here. I don't know if we ordered too much. I feel like maybe we did, but it's fine. So I've got to say the food here at the Abar rooftop is really, really good. But the cocktails are amazing as well. I would highly recommend doing this for, you know, your evening. If it is your first night, just come in here, relaxing, enjoying the beautiful view of the city. The music's good, the vibe's great, and you know, a really, really good place all in. All right, so I've just got an email from my medical school giving me my results, and this is a really, really stressful moment for us both because my reset date is actually in one week's time, and we're here in Thailand for three weeks. So depending on how I've done on these exams, I might now, after this meal, have to book a flight home. So this is a really big moment, I'm really hoping I've passed them and I'm really, really, really anxious because this could be, this is a lot. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just opening them up. I'm so sorry. I passed them off. Oh my God, no! <laughs> So we've just come to the Thai tea room in our hotel because I really needed a little pick-me-up. So I've got myself a single espresso and then we're gonna head over to where, babe? We don't know, we're gonna wander. We're just gonna see where we end up. We're just gonna go for a walk. So what have you just smelt? I feel the, like I The just... infamous durian. Yeah. Go on. Is it a fruit? It is a fruit. It smells like I've just dipped my face in soy sauce. Oh, that's an interesting way of describing a durian. Yeah. So durian is actually banned in many, many places all over Thailand. I think in Asia as well, like in the BTS Skytrain, you're not allowed it in there. You're not allowed it in various museums, various public places for the simple fact that it smells really, really it smells bad. so bad. It does. But at some <laughs> point this trip, I'm going to get her to try it. Does it taste as bad as it smells? I've never tasted it as well. I'm excited to taste it. Okay. And so should you. you taste it first. I'm just gonna go straight away with the durian. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is what you call a breakfast of champions. Oh, I just miss this city so, so much. Being back here, the heat, the humidity, the noises, the smells. I love it so, so much. What are your first impressions? Very busy. Is it hot enough for you? Yes, I like the heat. You like the I heat? I like the heat. And we've also got really, really lucky with the weather because it is monsoon season. And it did say that it was going to rain at many different points today. I didn't know when, but it hasn't. So fingers crossed, we don't get caught in any kind of rain. But yeah, we are currently just walking over to Soho House, which is about a 15 minute walk from our hotel. So I'm excited to check this one out. There's lots of cool bars just outside of our hotel, which we're walking by. And yeah, lots of uh, little massage parlors. So if you want to get yourself a massage, you can find them 
with the ladies sitting outside of them. And what a lovely <laughs> evening of drinks. We just spent some time so and a lot drinks. of money at the Soho House here in Bangkok, but why not? While we're here, we wanted to experience it. We wanted to try it. And we are feeling a few little raindrops, which doesn't we bode well. Home. We need to get home. <laughs> the rain's kind of nice. Why is it nice? Because it's Cause refreshing. It's really hot. Ah, there you go. That's okay. oh. Is that him? Is he in a four by four? Um, either that yes. or we're getting murdered. Hello. Ah. This is us. In you go. This is a cool thing. Babe, I'm going to hop on the back. What? I'm going to hop on the back. No, you're not. No, I'm joking. No, <laughs> Can you imagine if I did? And there you guys have it. That is the end of our first day here in Bangkok. We're back at the Marriott Marquis where we are staying for the next night and tomorrow night. And yeah, I'm a bit drunk. She's a bit drunk. <laughs> and we just need to get to bed because we are deliriously tired. And I'm exhausted. As are you, I assume. I'm delirious. You're deliriously tired, delirious. but it's fine because look at that chandelier. It is beautiful. Stunning. Like my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm a good boyfriend. Anyway, that is it for this video. I think we're just going to call it a night here. But if you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. And also check out the other videos here on this series from Bangkok because there is lots more to come. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.